Hey, welcome back everybody to another episode of Surrounded Permadeath. Uh, I'm a little perturbed. I've been running around for like the last 15-20 minutes. Thank God I didn't die. But uh, my truck's gone. My truck's gone. I had reorganized it, so I lost some weaponry and some gear. So I'm not happy about that. It doesn't change because I still need to get to... Do I still have... Okay, good. A little bit of fuel and some repair kits. I still need to build a base. Like, I... I don't understand what happened. I know I logged out right here, and I ran all over the place up here, just seeing if I would see it, and I don't see it. So, I have no idea what's going on there. I guess it is a new game, newer game, or it's uh, early access or whatever, so maybe that's something to do with it, but I think we just need to start uh, wandering around until we either find another vehicle and as well build a base. So I do want to mark a location real fast. I think I'm going to build the base right here. You guys' comments have been fantastic, and you guys did teach me that there is a way to actually do modular building. So that is what we're going to do. And, uh, yeah, so most important thing, though, is I just need a vehicle again. I feel like we did so well last episode and succeeded so well, and now my stuff is gone. So luckily I did take a few minutes to sell a lot of the stuff that was in my inventory including the truck. I just cleaned it way up because I knew I was going to have to do a lot of like mining and farming and stuff to have all the resources I need. Please tell me all my... Oh, good. My steel plates are in there yet. I needed those. Going to continue to grab steel plates along the way because those are what you need to make crafting stations. I know this now because I did spend about a couple hours off recording just uh, building up um, a, a separate save that was not permadeath to kind of learn how the building works in this game. Because I didn't realize you could do it. But alright, hopefully we find a vehicle. Kind of what my plan is, is I'm going to run down this road. to I think this is a junkyard. Hopefully we'll find some stuff. Any vehicle I find, once I do, I'm going to start heading this way. I will need to also build up a actual... Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I need to find a fireman's axe or just axe in general so I can cut down trees. And I do need to find a mining pick now because it was in my truck and it's no longer there. So... That really does suck. Luckily, I do still have a weapon with some ammo in it. A sound shotgun. Oh, do I have shotgun ammo? Hold up. Do I have shotgun ammo? I have seven rounds. Better than nothing, so let's roll with it. I will most likely record all the gameplay, but if I do get to the point where I'm going to start building a base, I might, uh, I might just either do a time lapse or fast forward through actually cutting down and mining stone for said base. Now you guys aren't bored with some of the more mundane, easy to do stuff in the game i'm probably gonna do a quick look through this area here though just to ensure that there is no axe or anything i could use also you guys pointed out i should grab that bolt cutter cutter when i saw it earlier last episode no you back up dude no, don't you dare make me bleed don't make me bleed my own blood isn't that how that saying goes on was that dodgeball i think that's dodgeball grab all that stuff the reason why I want to build by those two water areas is, hey, I think it's kind of a cool location. Six by nine? Seven by nine. Alpine backpack. I've never seen that before. That thing's worth 300. Oh, but it takes up so much room. Yeah, we're not going to do that. It probably should, but for right now, without a vehicle, I really need to save so much inventory. I was really mad. I took some time to actually clean up my inventory, right? Okay. You need to stop with this. I'm trying not to scream where you guys can hear me actually, you know, holler. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's that's terrifying. Let's not do that. Anyway, um, I spent a bunch of time just cleaning up my actual inventory, and I sold a bunch more stuff. Just think I did. I think I'm up to, like, a ton of... Yeah, look at that. I got, what, $5,500 now? Which isn't anything insane, but uh, it does help out, I guess. Locked. I need advanced lock picking. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Okay, good. Oh, yeah. I also learned how to do a power attack. I don't think I, uh, I talked about that yet. So I'll show you what I mean here in just a second with the next zombie I see. So no fireman's axe yet, or axe in general yet. We do definitely want to find one of those, like I said. Oh, also, completely forgot to say this, and I don't know how because I'm pretty stoked. We hit a thousand subscribers on the channel. I cannot believe that. Uh, it blows my mind. 
I was not expecting that to happen so quick. I mean, I think my first video went, went live at the last day of July. So to hit it that fast, at least I feel like that's fast. Okay, I can't show you a power attack while you're crouched because you can't do a power attack while crouched. I'll just show you. So you hold down the left mouse button until you see that thing start spinning. Then you can let it go. And that's how you do that cool, like, combo, jumbo, wambo, whatever you want to call it, attack. That's some pretty good damage. Oh, look at that. We got an axe. Fitness, we can read it. Got some more painkillers. Let's take it. Let's go ahead and dump this stuff into where... Am, am I really full up? Oh, yeah, I got a bunch of empty bottles. That's fine. We'll hold on to it. Let's continue just kind of searching this area now. Now I feel fine. Now I feel good. So we can go ahead and find a vehicle. That's the next big objective is let's find a vehicle. The only thing I'm missing is a, a mining pickaxe, mining axe, mining pick, whatever. So I can get some stone, but we should be okay. We shouldn't need it too much. Let's just keep running this way though and see if we get lucky and find a vehicle. Hoping we do. I'm a little upset by the fact that uh, it's gone. Logged in, ran all over the place. You know, I need a generator. Oh, is this a storage? Is this two storage boxes? Heck yeah. Hunter scope. You know what? I don't have a sniper rifle anymore, so we're going to need that. And then let's just grab the rest of this. I can reorganize that in a second here. Oh, itchy nose. Got to look where I'm going, though. I don't see any more smoke plume. Oh, as I say that, there's a smoke plume right in front of me. That was not just there, right? Like, did I seriously miss it? Which means it's a bandit camp. Do we dare try taking it on? Like, I'm really nervous all of a sudden because I lost my stuff. Like, can I take this out? I mean, I should have confidence that we can. But, uh, yeah. Also, the control click, I think I may have already said this, but if I didn't, it is fantastic. Thank you for telling me about it. it doesn't look like there's a whole lot down here. And I do have a silenced, was it, M4? Is that what I have as an M4? I don't... Why don't you have a magazine in you? It does. Man, my game is just buggy right now. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I wonder if it would be smart just to restart it one more time. Maybe. Give me one second. I'm going to do so. All right. Hopefully that fixed some of my issues. No, nope, it's still showing I don't have a mag in there. That's so dumb. What do we got here? This is abandoned, right? Like, smoke plumes mean they're enemies, right? Yep. Okay, one down. Who was shooting at me? Somebody was shooting at me. Oh my god. Do I... Sprint, roll, sprint, roll. Okay, bandit down, nice. Where did you go? There's one more somewhere over here. Hitting all the wrong buttons too. Oh, silenced. I don't like this, I can't see him. There he is. No, he's not. Who's shooting? I don't understand who's shooting. Oh, he is. Okay, cool. I don't need your backpack. Shit. He's shooting me. I just swore. Oh my gosh. I'm freaking out a little bit. Where are you at? Bat, 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 bat. Woo hoo hoo. Got him. All right, let's first check this box and see what we got in here. Hopefully, it's something good. I'll take that. I mean, do I take these? I don't think so. I think I'm going to leave them because they're broken. If you don't know, broken weapons kind of suck with the fact that they jam a lot as you're trying to shoot. And it really kind of messes you up. All right, where did that bandit die at? Wasn't he... Is him right here? Sure is. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Was this a boss? It was. Did we seriously just get another one of these just like that? I guess we did. I guess we did. Um, let's get rid of the moldy bread. Don't need it. Food-wise, let's just go ahead and consume that. Get rid of that. Uh, I think I can drop you there. Drop you there. Nice. 
Just trying to do some quick organization here to make sure I can take that sniper. Yeah, I can fit it now. You can go, actually go right there. Let's unload you, though. And let's just load up these last few rounds I have in there. I don't think I have any more 5.56. Five, That's 9 mil. I'm just going to drop you in there. Might as well. I do have the MP5, though, I could swap out for. I can't believe this thing just dropped. The gods are loving me, apparently. I do have a little bit more 5.56 five, left. Okay, hold on. Let's drop that in there. We got plenty of 45, so if I can find a weapon that utilizes 45, that'd be fantastic. This does have a 50... This has a drum in it. Ugh, I'll probably just sell that. I might as well check this out real quick. There's nothing more. I guess there was that one bandit I didn't loot. Let's go check out that one bandit up here. See if there's anything. I can't believe that freaking sniper rifle dropped again. I just need ammo for it now. I think that's the only thing that's holding me back from using, utilizing that. You know what, though? I could drop this scope on there. Nice. All right. I think that bandit died. This one? You know what? I'll take it. I can use the food. Food is a good thing for me to have right now. In fact, why don't we just consume a water and eat one more thing of food? And we'll drop that one out. I don't need to keep those cans because I honestly don't know what they're good for. All right, we do have some zombies up here. In fact, let me... Oh, I think that MP5 is actually technically smaller or bigger. Nope, nope, we can make this work. Okay, cool. That way at least have some ammo. I don't want to take any risks right now. I don't know why I'm worried about it because I did pretty dang good. Yo, you're auto? I didn't realize the MP5 was... I guess I knew that. Is there a way to... Ch Isn't it like control B? Not control B. Oh, that's binoculars. Oh, wait, is it like when you're looking down the site? No, I thought there was a way to change it from fully auto to semi, but maybe not. I mean, I can just click the trigger, you know? There we go. What do you got for me in here? I see, uh... Alright, we're out of ammo on that one. Ooh, not an axe or hatchet slash whatever you want to call it. Let's go like this, move you over, and drop you there. Boom. All right. We'll take it. Let's continue on. Let's find a vehicle. I, I'm still a little blown away by how everything worked out here. We'll drop you in there. I don't think I have any 9 mil, do I? No, I'm out of 9 mil. Awesome. I really should have sold those grenade grenades, too. You guys hear that music? Why is it so epic right now? Hacha! Yeah, see that? I just one-tapped that, dude. One-tapped it. To kind of talk through the journal, I do. I did use uh, my last two points for the critical hitter. I think now, though, I'm going to work my way down to Deathbringer, which is going to take a while to get there. But I do think that that would be smart to have, purely because of the fact that if I die, I get, like, what, 15 health back, and um, I don't die. It has some type of cooldown on it. I don't know what that cooldown looks like, but might as well try it. Okay, we are kind of making our way down towards what I think is a junkyard. I've actually never been this side of the map before. Let's take a look and see what we find. Because really, I could just kind of run right through here to where I want to build a base at. But obviously, I would still like to find a vehicle first. One for the storage and two, uh, you know, transportation, movement, speed. If I did something wrong, though, you guys, tell me tell me in chat, because, uh, uh, or in comments, I mean chat. I'm a streamer now, apparently. And let me know, because I don't want to make that same mistake. I mean, I when I left, I hit save, and then I, oh, you know what? I wonder if it's because I quit. I bet it's because I quit, and maybe didn't go to main menu or something. I don't know. Or maybe I need to stay in the vehicle. There is a vehicle that can be salvaged. It's not a junkyard here. There's a lot of construction stuff here, though, which is good to know. We'll just take it all. Let's see what we have. You know what? I don't know if... Oh, wait. Is that an ambulance I can drive? We're about to find out. What's up, dude? Load up. Another nice hit. Back up. Back up. Back up. Thank you. Uh, we'll 
we'll take this. Yeah, that control click is so nice. So nice, so convenient. Also, I'm good on water for a while. I wonder if I should come down here and just fill up all my bottles real quick. Uh, fill. I probably don't need to do this purely because of the fact that uh, where I'm building my base. No, back up, back up. I saw you sneaking up on me. Is that nine mil? I just get a little bit of nine mil. Where'd it go? What? Oh God! Back up! Leave me alone! You just crawled through the water, dude. You're a nut. Yeah, you come right here, right here. Yeah, nailed it. First try. Is this a vehicle that I can actually drive? I know ambulances are a vehicle you can drive, but I just, sometimes you come across these things and it's like not an actual drivable vehicle. Yep, see? I can't use it. How dumb. Yeah? I just realized the music kicks on when you're in combat. I didn't know that. I don't know how I missed that prior. Maybe, was there an update to the game? And that's what caused my issues? All right, yeah, we're just gonna keep going this way. I should travel by road. We have a better chance of finding a vehicle. Maybe I'll cut across this way to that road. I don't know if like the map gets harder the farther like west you go or anything like that. Like I don't have that game knowledge yet. I guess we're gonna kind of find out now. There's a broken down police car. I should probably check it out, but at the same time, I'm already dangerously low on Equipment or uh, inventory, I mean. I'm trying to think what else. I think I had a, an ammo crate, which I'm not worried about losing an ammo crate, in all honesty. I know it had a small generator in there. I think it had. It had the sniper rifle in there. Honestly, I don't think it. Oh, it, you know what? It had a bunch more toolboxes, fuel, and uh, repair kits in there. He said one more toolbox in there, which I think was loaded with fuel and. I think they had like three or four cans of fuel in it. I don't quite remember. I have to go back and watch last episode, I guess. I really just hope I find a vehicle soon. It's very frustrating. If I wasn't playing permadeath, I'd probably figure out a way to like just spawn stuff in and respawn it back in. But I feel like playing permadeath, it's uh. I'd be cheating, so we're not going to do that. Actually, I don't even know if there is a way to spawn stuff in. Let's see. I'm not going to worry about looting any of this stuff yet. Was that building... Oh, it was moss. It just wasn't loaded in yet. I thought that building was damaged. I was like, that's dope. It looked like it was like pushed in in that one area. You know what I mean? Like... It's cracked, man. Those are some really straight line cracks. All right, let's save some. Let's save some energy here as we make the movement. There's a couple more dudes up here. I'm still not seeing anything that's like... I'm still not seeing anything that's vehicle-wise that I can utilize. What is that up there? That's new. Must be, huh? A lot of things I want to. I shouldn't say new. It's new to me. Is that a tractor? Is that a drivable tractor? Oh, I thought it was on fire, but it's definitely not. My eyes deceived me. Okay. Oh wait, there is a fire though. Maybe did I see that somehow? And that told me, oh god, there's some things here. See, I have it queued up, but it's gonna tell me, it's gonna yell at me now, you can't do that. It's like, okay, thank you. Appreciate the insight. I appreciate the insight. Let's see here. If I had more ammo, I would definitely just go in guns blazing, but I don't. 
I mean, I do have a decent amount of ammo. I guess, no, I used a lot already on the, uh... Hmm, let's see here. Can go like this. That is a vehicle up that I can drive, so... It's actually the... Uh, no, it's a flatbed version of my truck. I don't think that allows you to store anymore or any less. I'm not sure. Oh, no, I missed. That was terrible. It does take a lot of stam to do that. That's the only thing I'd be careful with. So sometimes you do that and you miss and it's terrible. Let's just drink this. I have plenty of water bottles now. I'm not overly worried about it. Grab that. You know what, though? Can I take that lamp? Because I think my truck had all the, lam all the other lamps in it. Keep up a power attack, walk around this bike, and pcha! Nice. One shot, one kill. Okay, it acts like I'm in combat, but I don't see anything. Are you trying to attack me? You can't get to me? You stuck. Uh, continue eating this stuff. This music is, is making me kind of giggle here because it's like kicks on for a couple seconds and that's it. All right, we got all that. Let's, uh, let's check out this helicopter real fast. Cereal, we'll just consume it. I would like to have another big water jug. Um, so let's get rid of dirty water and dirty water. We'll put that there, and we'll put the water jug there. And let's grab everything else possible. Yo, am I really... Out? Oh, man, my other box had all that gunpowder in it, too. That is terrible. Okay, anyway, here is my truck. Let's get this fixed up. Health is going to be full here in a second, and we'll also fuel it up. And let's head towards where I want to build my base. Being that I do have an axe, I can really get started, which is nice. Like I said, I'll probably record the whole entire thing and in editing, I'm either going to do a time lapse of me just running around grabbing trees and things like that. Um, otherwise, I am going to... Eh, not bad storage. Um, I don't know what I was going to say. Otherwise, I'm going to just uh, cut it out and bring it back in when I've farmed up a bunch of stuff. It is getting dark out already, which is uh, too bad and unfortunate type of stuff, but... Uh, We'll be all right. I'm just happy we got a vehicle back. I'm still a little perturbed that we lost that last vehicle, but not much we can do about it at this point in time. I just hope it doesn't happen in the future like that. Kind of scares me. Like, I don't understand why it did. gas stations in the area I'm hoping next episode we can work up the courage to go do like an infestation zone Infanta infants infestation area let's go check out these cop cars real quick there's no zombies here might as well take advantage of it uh, Ooh, look at that pickaxe let's go go through that nice we'll loot it all get a little bit more ammo Tora building right here. But yeah, I'm trying to work up the courage to go do like an infest infestation zone. That's kind of a cool building. Oh, building my base is like right next to that building. Basically, I want to build it somewhere in this area. Right? Am I here already? I am. Yeah, so I think I kind of want to build it. Let's just find it more of a flat area on the lawn, the water here. How about we do it like right here? This isn't the, uh, okay, the uh, safety, or the, uh, 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 oh my gosh, I can't talk. The safe house, safe yard, safe zone, there we go. That's the word I was wanting to use, is right there. So not too far away, I like it. Do I have my MVG? I do, nice. I was hoping so. All right, let's, let's first go like this, and we're going to get rid of that. 
not rid of, but we'll go like this, like this. I should be able to start placing these down. Nice, I can. Okay. Uh, let's. All right, Moon. It's funny how much that lights it up. Again, I'll probably you know do a little bit of uh, editing work to make it so it's a little bit brighter during the process. But again, not make it too noticeable. I'm actually trying to think if I did that last episode. I honestly don't remember. But yeah, this is what we basically got to do now because I need a bunch of wood so I can craft a crafting bench. So I need, what, 10 wood? And I have four. So it's going to take just a second to grab it all. We'll make that happen. I'll kind of show you the first little bit that we're doing. You can't do a power attack into the tree. That is unfortunate. Keep cutting through here. Oh my god. There we go. Let's see what we get now. One more. Go figure. You just throw in the MVGs. Uh, that's probably going to be worse for the editing process. And I want to save my batteries too. I did luckily buy a few more batteries from the trader before leaving. I think I bought them out the first time around. I honestly don't remember. I just know I have four on me. So I'm happy about that. Alright, now we should be able to go crafting. Oh no, do I have nails? Oh no. That should be okay though. Because I can kind of cheat. Let's just run up to this uh, safe house real fast. The safe zone. You guys can see the big one then right away. See what I meant there by that. Am I on the right side of this? Yeah, okay. Maybe I should build it like right... You know what? I think I'm going to build it right here anyway. So I'm okay with that. Kind of between those body bodies of water. Ooh, I don't know if I'll be too close to this though. Because it wouldn't be bad to be close to like the safe, safe zone. And bro, dude, I almost hit you with my truck, bro. What do you got for me? Yeah, you got that Barrett 50 cal. You got that. Ooh, that Colonel's Revenge. That's dope. 35, 45. Expensive is basically. I do have a small generator. I picked that. I did pick that up recently. I forgot about that. Man, all these episodes, everything else going on is just running together. Okay, so we need nails. Um, to easily get nails. Does this one not have crafting stations? Really? Really, really? Okay, well, let's talk to this dude. What do you got for me? So you got some weaponry. You got some 5.56, $12 pop, 9 mil. Wouldn't be bad. I'm not opposed to spend some money on that. Uh, medical and batteries. That's good to see and know. That's a really big backpack. Nothing I really need there. Do you have anything? No. Do, I, do you guys seriously not have nails? I thought there was a crafting station here. Oh yeah, you guys want to see something really cool though? Hi puppy. Oh yeah. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. Yes you are. There we go. In here maybe? There is a sleeping... Survive the night. Let's just sleep until daytime. We don't have to deal with the nighttime. I swear there was a crafting station though here. That is very frustrating. So now I need to go around and find four nails. I think this is the guy, yeah, you can spend money to buy uh, these credits. Those credits are what you use to buy the uh, the weapon dude that we just saw. Barber, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm good, I don't need to change anything about me, thank you. I am just, oh wait, here we go. Crafting station, okay, nails. Let's just, let's just make five worth, which is quite a few, 15 nails. That should be enough to get started. Cooking station. So this is where I could actually go through and boil up my water real fast. Uh, I thought I had one of these that maybe not. Okay, it doesn't matter. Cool. Awesome. Let's go back now and work on the base. I'm happy I found those. I was getting a little, uh, little, little, little irritated. So all my nails is in a toolbox that was in the other truck. So that sucks. If I do any, see any more smoke plumes, though, I thought I saw one right there, but it's just the background of that really tall mountain. And I haven't really seen the mountains about once in my life. And that's an insanely tall mountain, right? Like, that's got to be higher than Pike's Peak. Just, oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Just 
Sorry, but we need the deer meat. Now our deer is just chilling there. Just want to make sure we don't run out of food. Okay. So now we got this going. I can go here. I can craft one of these. I wouldn't have really needed to make these because I can just run back to the base camp real, or that, uh, camp real quick, but we don't need to talk about that. All right, let's just put you right there. All right, let's put you away. I don't want to be wasting ammo. All right, so the next thing I want to do is a building station. So I need wood. I have nails yet, which we're good with. I just need wood. So I'm going to go on a little bit of a montage here. Maybe just pause the recording or just not pause, but cut through the recording. As long as nothing crazy happens, you guys won't see me again and until uh, I'm done. But I'm just going to go cut around a bunch of trees because we're going to need it. There's no reason to keep you guys as I do this. So I'll be right back. All right, it took me about 10-ish minutes, maybe not quite. And I got about 75 pieces of wood. So let's go in here and let's build our crafting station first off. Not crafting, our build station. So this is the building station we're going to place down. I'm going to place it right next to the other station. I'll move these once I actually get a decent base built up. But now if you look at crafting, this is where you can build like all of your storage boxes, you know, that type of stuff. Refrigerators, gun lockers, uh, gates and walls, which I really like that concept. Wooden fences, wooden doors. But then if you click on modular, and this is the part I missed originally, this is where you can actually start building like your foundations and walls to actually build a straight up base. So a lot of cool things here. I think most important though, is I really want to start off by just getting some foundation done. So what am I, I need wood or nails, I think. So let's jump in here and let's make uh, another X amount of nails. Oh, this has got messed up. It's not accurate. I wish that was how many nails this got made, but not right at all. And then what else? Oh, I need planks. Uh, where do I get planks from again? Right here. So let's do five of those which is an equal total of 20, not a ton of them, but hey, we'll roll with it. And let's see if I can at least build four, I want to just do four frames. Nice. I sure can. So give me a start off with a really small house, more or less, but that's okay. My battery ran out of my flashlight. Let's rotate this and let's put you, we'll go right here. Uh, how do I rotate? Let's see, your mouse wheel, rotate left and right. Oh God, uh-oh. Don't do what I just did. Because apparently you can fall into it. That was cool. Is that right? Nice. And then, I think that's good, yeah. Awesome. All right, so we just got a little four by four going on right now. I will make this much bigger in the future, but this is just more for to getting started. Uh, I do want to get a set of stairs. Let's place you down. I'm going to do a stairway coming in this way. Maybe. Like so. And that way I might put a porch out here. You can look at the really cool little lake slash river. Not really sure what this is. It looks like it's a river. I guess this one's like a part of the river. I don't know. Yeah, it's got to be like a river with the, uh, this really weird design. Hopefully they don't connect this in the future because that flooding would destroy what I'm building. So let's just not worry about that right now. Jump in here. It looks like I can make a ton more planks because I don't need, oh, I do still, no, I don't need. Yeah, so let's just go here and let's max out how many planks I can make. Which unfortunately isn't a ton. So I might have to still do more building. I want all vertical for inside. So how many of these can I make? Only two. All right, well, it's a start. I have to move those stairs, apparently. Let's place you down. And actually, I think... Really, you can't jump up that? Let's pick this one up. And let's place it. I actually don't want to... I want to put a window there. So we'll put this one there and I'm gonna put a window. We'll put a window here and a door here. So it's a little backwards. I know it sounds weird, but I don't know. I'm kind of crazy, I guess. And then let's place this bad boy right there. Nice. I like it. So definitely need a lot more wood. Let's actually grab some water too. I do that mining pickaxe. I would like to get a campfire built. Just a little bit more wood and some stone. 
So let's jump in the truck here. We're doing good on fuel and health. Let's go find some stone that we can mine. Cut that down. Break that down. We'll grab some trees in the same vicinity as the stone. And then that's going to allow us to get that campfire built so I can purify water and all that fun stuff at the same time. Real thing is, I just got to find some of that stone. It's uh, like little rock sticking out of the ground. The green moss on it. Are you bandits? You are not. Thank God. Did not want to mess with them right now. Let's go up here by these rock peaks. I don't think you can mine these, but a lot of times what you're looking for is up here. There is a smoke bloom too. Yeah, so you can't mine those big rocks from what I understand. That is a massive bandit camp. That is one massive bandit camp. Oh my god, I want that so bad, but there's just no way. There's just no way I can do that right now. I don't see any... Oh, there's... So right there is a rock I can't jump to show you guys. Let's go down and grab it. You can see what I'm talking about then on what needs to be mined. I'm pretty positive that's a bandit camp. Yeah. It's gotta be, because... Oh, that was fun. Let's swap out the uh, axe for the pickaxe. Let's grab some of the stone. So this is what I was talking about, what can be actually mined. I'm nervous about getting any closer to this thing, because the last thing I want to do is trigger them attacking me. I wonder, though... I wonder if I could put that down and, like, call in a horde to attack them, and then all I have to do is deal with zombies. I want this stone. I didn't get enough from that. I did actually get enough, but... Hopefully there's no sniper up in that post. I hear a horn. I think they see me. I'm out. I have no idea. I'm out. I'm out. Go, 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 go. That's so close to my base, too. That's exciting. Little grocery store, it looks like. Don't hit these dudes. They're friendly, but if you kill one, then they all attack you. I tested that just so I knew. And, uh, don't do that. Okay. Where did I... I gotta move my marker here. I think I built it more like... Hopefully I can see it from on top of this hill. Yeah, right there it is. Awesome. All right, let's get the... Oh, I need more wood, too, yet. So we'll just run up here real fast. Swap this out for the axe. And let's just cut down a couple more trees. Well, I do want to take out that bandit camp eventually, but I'm not sure. Does that stuff, like, change locations when you log out, log back in? Or is that always going to be there? I don't really understand how that works yet in this game, because I swear I've seen it before where it's, like, there this episode, or it'll be there, like, now... And then next time I log in, it's not going to be there anymore. I think this tree fell down. There it is. Just took a second to fall over. Well, let's grab a few more of these real quick. I'm trying to think what else we can do this episode. I don't want to spend the whole episode building, but maybe we can go check out like Lawrence Creek or something. That must be a small little town. Maybe we'll go check that out. See if we find any smoke plumes along the way. Let's go crafting. Let's build one of these. Nice. We're just going to stick that right out here. Like so. Boom. So now I can craft all kinds of stuff, including grilled meat. So we can actually have some food. Food should not be a problem for us anymore. We got plenty of water in here. This is all clean water, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay, so the other thing let's do real quick is let's drop these storage containers down. I don't really know how much it stores. So 
So boom. Boom. Not bad amounts. Um, we're going to throw all this stuff in there for right now. We'll throw the Jenny in there. We'll throw in this one over here. Let's just throw in any excess water that we have because I don't need to. We'll throw the jugs in there too, actually. Canteen would probably be a good one to keep, but yeah, we'll hold on to that. Should have plenty of food with us now. Let's see what we can empty out of. Oh, hold on. Ooh, wait, do you have room now? Nice, you do. So I can actually put both of those in there. Great, that's fantastic. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and place this thing, though. If we come in at night, so we'll be able to see somewhat. Granted, it's a wide open, you know, environment. How much wood do I have? I might actually be able to make one more, one or two more walls. Let's do that real fast. Uh, I'll go to this one. Oh, no, I'm short. Just, that's fine. I think that means I can make at least a window. I'm doing all verticals, right? Yeah, let's grab this. Let's place you down. Just like so. Love it. Awesome. Amazing. A little bit more ways to go, but that's okay. I'll do a lot of tree cutting. I'm really debating. I'll probably, maybe at the end of the episode, or maybe I'm trying to debate how I want to do this, because I want to record me. Wait, do I have six now? I do. I want to be recording when I'm like doing a little bit of work, but I also don't want you guys watching like the grinding of me building a base, like collecting all this wood and stuff. So maybe I'll montage it. Maybe we'll go explore a little bit now, and I'll just do a little bit of montaging as we go through it. Or I'm wondering if I should just uh, do it now and finish off building at least this building up, and then we'll go from there. Maybe I'll do that. I'm just going to go do a little bit more farming. I'm thinking I'm probably going to just edit it out so you guys don't watch it at all. Let's grab some water here. Uh, drink. And... Okay, will you come up here then so I can actually see... Drink. You know what? We're going to drink this one, too, because I can just fill it up with water real fast. And let's consume this meat here. Beautiful. We are full up. I like it. We're going to bring the truck over to these trees and just start cutting down more and more of them. In fact, let's go real quick. Let's move. How do I get rid of this? Oh, I did. And we'll put it right there. That's about as accurate as I think we can get. But yeah, I'm gonna just, uh, I'll record it so just in case something stupid happens and I die, I can show you guys how. But other than that, I'm just gonna be cutting down a ton of trees. Okay, I think I have everything I need to finish. Let's give it a shot. I'm gonna put my window wall there, put my door wall for the porch there, and then do my normal wall here. I'm definitely gonna expand this. Like, I want this to be kind of like a living area, living room area. And then I'll probably do like a bedroom off one side, maybe like an entertainment room off the other side or storage room off the other side. I want to do like a patio coming out here so you can overlook the lake. Maybe even transition that into a dock so you can fish off of it. Because there's a way to fish. I still haven't found a fishing pole, which is insane to me. But there's a way to fish, so there's that. Let's pick up all those. Uh, let's place these bad boys down. So you're supposed to be like that. And like that. I think the crafting works pretty dang good if I'm going to be uh, upfront about it. So I don't think it's too bad at all. Nice. Okay, so that at least has that done. I do have some natural light in here plus that. It's not bad. I will be able to set up that generator. However, I'm not going to do that yet because I do actually want to build like a storage. Actually, I'll just probably put the generator outside. Because I think the way it works is I just don't think I have any lights. Yeah, I don't have any lights yet. So I'll tell you what. This is done. Let's go on a little bit of an adventure so we can maybe find some more stuff for storage wise as well as some lighting that type of thing that we can put in here to kind of light the place up at night. We'll stick a generator outside as well eventually, but is my truck pretty empty? Not really. Let's scrap that. I do want that baseball bat instead of the axe. So let's let's swap that out just like so. I'm fine bringing all that water and stuff along because you never know when I'm going to need it. But let's jump in here. Let's put that in there, put that in there, and this will fit there. These should stack, yeah. Don't really have a way of fitting that in here, though. Right? So if I went like this, 
Sometimes it's fun to do this to see if you can figure out a way to make it happen. Look at that. I did. Man, sometimes I feel so smart. And then in here, let's just throw that empty thing in there. Do I have room for this stone? I don't. We'll put the stone in here. That's fine. Throw these empty ones in there. Uh, we'll throw those 10, pick, 10 lock picks in there. Ammo wise, I'm not worried about it. Okay. So, yeah, I think this is probably the best time to go do a little bit of exploring. Let's, uh, I don't want to head to the infestation, I don't think. Let's, why don't we go check out this area, right? Mm, no, let's go to Lawrence Creek. I just want to put a, I want to put a marker down there real fast. So I can easily see it on the map. Where are you at? Right there. Went right by a couple times, I guess. But yeah, we're gonna head down there and, uh, we'll, uh, do a little bit of combat and exploring. Quick little update. Um, got a phone call. Mom wanted to see how I was doing, which is super nice. Love you, Mom. But uh, while I was going on, I just did some deforestation. Uh, de whatever, you know, I just cut down a crap ton of trees. Check it out. I got a bunch of planks made. Let's just quickly add on to this thing. So I think what I want to do is let's just make... Oh, you know what? I'm not going to do this because I don't have enough logs to do the... Um, what, what am I trying to say? to maybe i do i need to build four foundations and i'm having a hard time talking so we're gonna ignore that let's go and explore so i just forgot that i needed to keep some tree logs to build foundations oh well all right so our original plan before that happened is we were going to head towards this city here lawrence creek it's been like 30 minutes since i was recording so bear with me as i recombobulate myself with what's going on or decompobulate the decombobulate i think so what's up dudes don't get ran over by me it's about to be dark out which is a little unfortunate but we'll make it work we are head down to the lawrence city here and see what type of uh items we can find you know what there might be some decent stuff in here i don't really need to shoot you i could have definitely used my uh my weapon here my melee weapon my axe apparently Crap, let me go put this back. And we'll put this here. And we're going to put this in my jacket. Because apparently I can fit a whole entire axe in my jacket. Let's not talk about that, though. I'm going to run with some night vision on, so it's a little bit easier to see. Better for you guys as well. Yeah, we'll take it. I need the ammo. Although I think I'm, like, looking really good on 45. A tent is always good, and heck yeah, a sleeping bag. I'm happy we stopped here because now I can theoretically just go place, boom, sleep, and sleep. Now it's going to start to light up for us, so I'm going to turn these off because I don't need them anymore. Pick those up and leave that back at base. However, I would like to find an actual bed because then I can uh, bring a sleeping bag with me. And as, as we're exploring, we have the ability to sleep throughout the night. I'm going to leave it how it is. I like what I got. Of trash we have in here. Uh, we'll take the water, take the ammo. I wonder how much better this axe is. So that takes up six stamina drain. You know what? We are going to drop that and we're going to take the smaller axe. I think it'll cut down trees just as fast and I won't have as much stamina drain, so it'll make it a lot easier. I could be wrong, but I am just speculating. Let's go ahead and consume that and we'll grab these. Awesome. Okay, well, I'm kind of okay with not grabbing anything more out of here. Let's continue on. Check out the city. If I see a smoke plume, great. If I don't, oh well. No, don't fill that up. It's good on fuel. We don't need to fill it up. Uh-oh. Although these might be... These might be... Yep. Yep. I knew it. Scavengers. Let's go this way. Super nervous about this. Got. Take out him real quick. Alright, I'm a little low on ammo. However, I do have the shoddy. Nice. Okay. Loot that. Yeah, I'll take all that. And nothing there. I think there was more. Yeah. There is. Combat roll. Combat roll! Oh my god. What are you looking what are you looking at?
Can I do this? Uh, ah. Dumb. Quit looking at my vehicle. I wasn't in it. I can't believe he thought I was in it. Uh, good. Let's go ahead and fill back up this. That only has five in it, so let's go ahead and pull that out. That way we have ammo back in the MP5. 556, five, so I could actually fill up my mag here as well. That makes me feel a lot better, and then let's also fill up the shotgun. Is that all of them? Was it just the four? Looks like it. I don't see anything else going on. Okay, cool. All right. Vehicle took a little bit of damage from that, but not bad. Not bad at all. Let's continue back on down this way. A little farmhouse back there. I'm not going to focus too much on exploring that. A little bit of leg drop as I was doing that save. Oh, this looks like a prison. Not a prison, a police station. Do I try to... I wonder what kind of stuff is in there. There's probably like a... There's a downed helicopter. Looks like there's some gun safes. I think that's what those are in those windows right there. Hmm. What I could do... Let's try to cheat this real quick. Let me run this dude over. I don't like, I don't like wearing and tearing my vehicle like this, but... If I can actually hit this guy, it's sometimes worth it just to take care of him. Whatever. Let's try to cheat a little bit here. Honk the horn, quickly drive away. They should DA grow, just like that. Let's go take a quick look. Do I have, oh, I bet I don't have bolt cutter, cutters on. I think I'm gonna need them. What's the chance, wait, do I have them in here? No, somebody made a comment that I actually left bolt cutters behind, uh, which was really dumb of me. So there's that. Let's just see what we can do up here. Maybe lockpicks or something will work. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there is some stuff here. Oh my god, are you kidding me? How often has that happened? I'll take those two. And we'll put on that face mask. And we need that. And we need a light. Nice. I'm actually really happy with that. Still looks stupid. I'm sorry I'm taking that off. Just looks dumb. I a medical box. Oh, I see an ammo box right there. How did I miss that? There was nothing in that medical box. I think that's like a first. Okay, we'll take all that. Let's head up top. There's an axe. I'm good with the smaller one I found, though. I'm a little nervous about being up here because I could easily get screwed over. Actually, I'm going to take that wood here. I want to drink some water, though. I realize I'm getting low. Did I not bring water? What the heck? I swear I did. Oh, this is a pick. Let's see if I can do this. I have quite a few picks on me, so... There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we'll take the suppressor. I don't, you know what? Let's take the black military gloves. Let's start uh, blacking ourselves out there. Can we... I'll put that there. And that will fit right there. Nice. 31 compared to 25. Very nice. And it's 5.56. Five, so I can just take everything out of here and put it on this thing, I think. What do we got here? Okay, I'm able to break into this. Let's just take our time to do it, though. I do not want to aggro all those guys over there. Okay, well, we'll take that stuff, I guess. Nothing, nothing super impressive. What do we have? Do I want that AK, too? 
I mean, it is nice because it's 762, and right now I don't have anything that fires 762. Can I store... Uh, this should be... No? Yeah, no, it definitely can't. Let's, let's go into here. Let's drop that there. Let's move my grip over. Let's move my ACOG over. Let's move that mag over. Just like that. All of this ammo can theoretically go into my ammo box. Shotgun shells I am going to leave out. 5.56 five, we'll throw into there. 9 mil we'll throw into there. So I can throw this mag up here. Throw that mag there. Two there. 7.62 we'll put down there. That we can put down there. I know I'm just kind of quickly rambling on as I'm doing this, but... Just trying to make this work. So I should be able to grab... I still can't fit that, though. But I want this, because I can theoretically throw more stuff in there. Or do I... Rotate... Rotate... I think this is how we do it. I do have my truck that I can throw this stuff into. And maybe I'll do that real quick. Maybe I'll just unload all this stuff real fast and come back for it. I'm happy. I think he saw me. Yeah, he did. Got him. Took care of that. Let's see here. Open storage. I don't have a lot I can do here. Let's just drink this up. I don't know where you just went. Well, you know what, though? I can throw all of this in here real fast. I don't know why I didn't have it in here to begin with. We'll throw that like that. I don't need you anymore. We'll probably sell that, being that I have this. I think we're going to actually swap this out because this doesn't take up as much room. And we'll put that just like so. It's probably as good as it gets. Let's go. I want to see what this thing's like. That's some pretty good damage. I'm happy with that. Let's sneak in here, though, real fast and see if we can't, uh... I think there was another weapon up here. Oh, IBA. IBA. Individual body armor. If anybody wants to know what that stands for. It's the military in me coming out. Yeah, so we'll take this one. I don't really want that mag, I guess. You know what? Let's just take that, because I can always sell it. And really, I don't have a sniper rifle. Actually, it's probably a good thing I took that, because I don't have a sniper rifle right now. I sold it due to the fact that I uh, thought I had that blue-purple one that dropped. Can I search this? I can. Yeah, I, I sold my sniper rifle because I had that purple one, but that purple one takes, like, special ammo, and I haven't found any yet. We'll take all that. We're going to take this light, too, so we have it. All right, let's continue on. I gotta go through the city, or through the police station area here, but that's fine. Shouldn't be an issue. No, I don't want to repair you yet. You're doing all right for durability. Let's drive around this way. They all kind of spread out now after uh, scaring them all together here. Let's just get it around. I really don't know how much more I want to gather, to be honest with you. I've never been to this city before, so I'm debating if I actually really want to go in here or if it would make more sense for me to hold off because I have a lot of stuff on me that I could actually use for the base building. If I look at the map here, I'm trying to see if there's any military tents or anything. I don't see any type of military tent. It's nice to be able to sit back here, though, and take out a bunch of these zombies without having to, you know, put yourself at too much risk. What's up, dude? I'm just going to take a quick stroll through here and just see if there's anything major I want to check out. We can always come back next episode, but I'm already sitting at almost an hour for recording, and that's not including taking the time off to uh, do some harvesting.
So it's a train station. What the heck? I imagine that's a train station. But I did it go down there. My truck is so far away. Do I bring the truck over? You know what? No, we're just going to go down here. Seeing a lot of zombies popping up. Hearing a lot of walking yet, too. I'm really nervous about doing this. This might be really dumb. Yeah, there's a lot of zombies down here. I'm holding off on this. This must be like some type of uh, stronghold or something. You can go, whoops. I thought I killed him. Thank God for bandages. I can't quite tell what's down there. All right, we're going to check this out later. I don't want to do it during this episode because this might just make this super long. I'm trying to keep them underneath an hour, but I don't think I've succeeded in that yet. So this might be something we do next episode. Check out that train station, see what it's about. If you guys know, don't spoil it in the comments because I will definitely read it and respond. I kind of want to have the fear of going in there without really knowing what it is. So if anything, tell me it's the scariest thing alive. And then, uh, and then I'll go do it. Okay, let's head back to base real fast. And I'll kind of set up what I do have here. Yeah, we're not that far away. It shouldn't take that long. Where is it at? Why don't I see it anymore? We know we gotta go back through the police station area. Wake up, zombies. Wake up. Cool. Yeah, so we can actually just go straight up this road. This is kind of nice. And then right as it starts to curve, just go off the off-roading and we should be good to go. So I think after this little curve here. Yeah, we can just go right through these survivors here. Not go right through them because I'd probably kill them, but uh, you know. Okay, I could get more scrap there, but I'm going to hold off for right now. Okay, let's actually real quickly put this to the test. So where can I stick you? Right there? Nice. How much better does this do for chopping wood for me? Oh, it hardly burns any stamina compared to the, uh, the last, the other axe, so that's good. I also figured out that you can just go to vicinity and pick up things a lot easier than trying to run around and do it. Let me just grab a couple of these because I might be able to expand onto our our base real quick too here. Almost done. I think that's going to be good enough to do what I want it to do. All right, cool. Whoops. Let's go and... No, don't refuel. Do it every time. You think I would learn. All right, so if that's the window, I think what I want to do is on this one, let's go ahead and take down that wooden wall. Boom. We'll just leave it there for a second. If we come here, I should be able to go... Nope, because I need to unload some of this stuff. Uh, how do I want to do this? Oh, really, I can just grab these. Let's grab those. We can move this over and set that right there. And that should be a decent little start, I guess. And really, I could also open this up. Oh, wait. What did I do with those? Do I have two of those? Oh, no, they're right here. I thought for a second I, I put these in the body armor, but apparently I didn't. We'll move these in a second, but I just want to have more, more or less more storage for right now. Need you. That should be good. All right, cool. So then let's jump in here. Let's do, I want to do, what am I missing? Nails. 
Supo come over here and grab. Let's do five more sets. Come in here and let's do four of these. This is gonna be super square, but uh, I'll try to make it look better in the near future here. Right now I'm just trying to expand my size. So yes, I can finally jump up there. Okay. So let's place you down like so. So I need one, two, three, four, five more of these. We'll get make two windows. Two windows and the rest walls, I think. So let's do verticals. Boom. And then just normal walls, verticals. Boom. Nice, nice, nice. Let's put a window here and here, and then the rest are going to be walls. So now I need to figure out how I want to do the roof here. Actually, you know what? Let's grab one more thing. I also need to find doors or make doors, one of the two, which there is ways to make doors. Wooden door is pretty easy to make. Can I make two of those? I'll make two of those for right now. And let's go back to modular and let's grab a vertical. Oh, I didn't need to make two of those. Crap. Oh, well. Just place this down. So this can go here. Nice. This can go... Really? You don't actually snap in there? Maybe it did. I don't know. Yeah, it does. There. Now we have doors. We have a little bit of light. I'll have to figure out how I want to handle this up here yet, because I have to completely redo it more or less, because this is no longer right. I guess I can just reverse it. Yeah, I think I can figure it out. It should be pretty quick and easy. Um, but let's do... Okay, so actually, let's go ahead and place this. Oh my god, why would you, why would you think I want to do that? I thought it would be placed squarely, but it wasn't. So let's go like right there. Nice. And I do have a generator somewhere. Where's my generator at? Right there. Let's place this down. Oh, no, I can't uh, open that up. Now let's find that Jenny. There it is. Place. For right now, we're going to just stick this right underneath the house. There's no way that would ever start a fire, right? So you can see how... Big the generator area is so that's kind of cool let's turn that off though right now it's refueled if i turn it on now we'll have more light in here see that dope as heck i like it but for the time being let's just go ahead and turn off save the fuel okay i like the setup so far we do have a couple more lamps we can set down a couple more wooden walls that we can use i want to make a little bit more foundation do half walls out here for the porch area but i think what we need to do honestly it's not gonna let me get up there huh let's tear down the ceiling here run through and do this shouldn't take too long and i'm already over an hour go figure but uh this way we don't have to worry about this next episode we can go do some exploring and get into some trouble hopefully not die my biggest fear is that i die like the first 10 minutes into an episode. Because it's like, I really want to put out a 10 minute long episode. But what I might do, in fact, I'm going to say I'm doing it right now, is if that happens, I'm just going to roll right into season two, right out of the gate. Um, that way, yeah, you know. Let's do one like that. I wouldn't need to put that there, but it's going to look better if I do. What happened to my other... Frame. Vicinity. Pick that up too, but where's my... I'm missing one. I'm missing one. Oh well. So I need at least three more of these. Boom. And I'm going to need a couple more of these. Let's just grab one, one more of these. Really? That was weird. Okay. You guys can stack. I wish you would just automatically stack for me because you'd make my life so much better. All right, cool. 
place. Boom. And boom. All right, and then let's grab these. Just like so. Nice, I made just enough. Okay, so we have a lamp light here we can turn on. I might as well throw in one of these down here. And we'll put one more. Uh, no, that's fine for right now. We'll hold on to it. We actually got some doors too, which is sick. So maybe I should have put another window there. No, I'm okay with this. I think this is a good start. I wish there's a way to hide UI. Is there? All right, I just spent like five minutes or so getting some thumbnails for the end of, for the video that's going to launch. But I'm pretty happy with that. So. I think right now is probably the best time to end the episode. I'll just kind of talk through what we're going to do through next episode. So happy with the way the base is set up. I'll probably start moving this stuff inside. I do plan on making this house a little bit bigger. And I want to put walls and gates and all that stuff around it as well. Because I would like to use the Horde Beacon eventually. I have no idea what's going to happen or, you know, how that's going to go. It might be a terrible idea. I do need to make the uh, ammo bench yet. Or weapons bench. Is it just called weapon? Yeah, we weapons bench. Won't be hard to make that, but I do want to get that done. That way I can start crafting ammo as well. But I do also want to do some exploring. So we're going to go back to Lawrence Creek. And we are going to check out that train station. I have no idea what that's going to be or what, what I'm going to expect. Hopefully we survive it. Hopefully it goes good. Um, but anyway, I want to take this moment to thank you guys so much for all the love and support on this channel. I still can't believe the channel is at 1,000 subscribers. Uh, did not ever expect that to be happening as quickly as it did. So again, thank you so much for all the love and support. And I hope you have a great day.